Hey, what's up, regulars? Today we're doing an oil change on a Porsche Cayenne 955 Turbo, and this also applies to the Porsche Cayenne S 955. So here's some of the tools you'll need, and also you're going to need the Porsche approved oil. I have a link in the description below for where you can find that. So let's get started. The first thing you got to do is remove these two corner pieces on your under tray. It's held on by T25 Torx and Phillips head screws, as you see I'm pointing them out for you right now. And once they're unscrewed, go ahead and pop those things off. Alright, so the next thing you're going to remove are all the screws that hold on the under tray to the body. You remove all of them except for one screw, which you can see is in between these two right here. Also, don't mind that ground. That's from my 944. Oops. Once you remove the screws, just push up on this tab right here and forward, and this thing should pop right off. All right, now with your eight millimeter Allen wrench, remove the drain plug at the back of the engine. And then there's also another drain plug underneath, which you'll see. This one only drains about a quart of oil, if that. Make sure too that you run the engine after you take off the under tray for probably about a minute and let it get warm. That way the oil just flows right out. But you don't want it too hot that the oil burns your hands. Now you're going to use your filter wrench socket, link in the description, and you can remove your oil filter wrench. Sometimes this is hand tight and you can just do it by hand. but. In my case, it was too tight and I couldn't get it off without the tool. And after you have that off, you could pull off your filter and you could inspect in between it and make sure that there's no metal shavings or anything that should not be there, of course. All right, now you can take your oil filter housing to your bench and take off the O-ring that's on the oil filter housing. I like to use a pick. As you can see, you get oil everywhere, like on top of my toolbox. Now I'm unboxing my new filter. It comes with a brand new O-ring. And what I like to use is a cap full of oil just like that, and I like to turn the O-ring around into it to oil it. You don't want to do this dry because you risk the chance of pinching the O-ring and having an oil leak. And just pop that thing right on there. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push your oil filter down until it bottoms out. Now I double tap just for fun, I guess. And you're gonna hand thread your oil filter housing on until you can't really tighten it anymore. Sometimes you can tighten this by hand. You're just gonna go till the gap is completely closed. Uh, for me though, I'm using a torque wrench and the torque spec is 19 foot-pounds. and click. And as you can see, I'm gonna bring the camera up there and you'll be able to see that the gap is completely closed and that's how you want yours to look. Also, I always recommend using new drain bolts and drain bolt washers. So now you can start installing your new drain bolts and drain bolt washer by hand. 
and you'll just do this to both of them, which you can see right here. Now I'll grab your torque wrench and torque these to 27 foot-pounds for both of them. If you're using an extension, you need to change the torque value a little bit, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Alright, and now as a bonus, grab your flathead screwdriver, or in my case I use the pick, and this is on your driver's side and passenger side underneath those first covers you brought up. This is your turbo charge pipe. Just pull this uh, clip straight back. And then once it's straight back like that, like that, you could grab the hose and pop it off and drain the oil out of it. And now, as you can see, I'm going to fill my engine up with oil. My Cayenne took about 9.6 quarts of oil. It may vary depending on how you do it. So what you want to do is fill it up with oil about nine quarts start the engine for about 45 seconds then stop the engine check the oil again after about a minute or for in my case after you reset your oil light and then top off the oil from there and then all you have to do is install your under tray double check your oil and you're good to go also guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe hit the bell icon and if you have any questions ask them in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have